Hello, everyone, and welcome to ApacheCon 2020. I am just thrilled to have you all here, all 4,400 of you. And uh, for those of you in the live audience right now, all 703 of you, thank you so much for joining us today. I have a few remarks to make before we get started with our keynotes this morning, just to let you know what to expect in the coming hours and over the next three days. So let's jump right in with one of the most important things, a big thank you to our sponsors. We could not do this without our sponsors. And so I wanna call special attention, first of all, to our platinum sponsors. Our platinum sponsors this year are Instacluster, Red Hat, Datastax, VMware, Apple, Amazon, IBM, and Imply. These are sponsors that have stepped up to help us continue our mission of open source for the public good. And this educational event is a critical part of that mission. And it's a part that I've been able to play for all these years. So I really appreciate these sponsors helping us out here. Uh, speaking of our sponsors, our platinum sponsors, I do want to mention that over the next few days, one of our sponsors, Imply, will be running sessions in their booth to uh, so where you can learn about the hot analytics stack, which is Apache, Kafka, Spark, and Druid, which is something that their company supports and develops on top of. Moving along, I want to thank our gold sponsors, OpenLogic, Cerner, and RxM. Again, these are companies that have helped us make this possible. So thank you to our gold sponsors. And thank you to our bronze sponsors, CodeThink, the US PostgreSQL Association, and MuseDev. And I'll have just a mo little bit more to say about MuseDev in a moment. But I also want to take this opportunity to give a special thank you to the people that have helped me make this event possible. And that is our track chairs. These are people that stepped up to craft the content around their product community, their project communities, and helped me wrangle all of these speakers into this. We have 26 different content tracks at this event. And that would simply not have been possible without our track chairs. I also want to uh, make a special thank you to uh, my friend and colleague, Ruth Seeley, who helped me with many of the logistic aspects of this event, and my friend and colleague, Brian Prophet, who helped with a lot of the back end work and is right now staffing the various chats and helping people out with their questions. So a huge thank you to these people for helping me make this happen. Next thing I wanna mention, very important, our event is being run under the Apache Software Foundation Code of Conduct. And we take this very seriously. We expect that each one of you has read and will abide by this code of conduct. It is linked from every page on the, uh, the main event website at apachecon.com. And we will be removing people from the platform who do not abide by this code of conduct. So, you just need to understand that that's what we expect of our community here. The next thing that I wanna mention, uh, ordinarily when you walk in the door at ApacheCon, we give you some Apache swag, perhaps a t-shirt. This year, of course, we can't do that. And we do miss seeing all of your smiling faces at our event. But we do have a t-shirt, which you can order at the URL that's on your screen. I'm actually uh, wearing it right now. Isn't that lovely? And you can order that at the URL that you see on your screen. We'll also be mentioning that on, on social media and in the various chats if you don't have time to write that down right now. Another thing we do at in-person events, and as you can see, I'm a little bit obsessive about this. I collect ApacheCon badges. I have a large collection of them on the wall here. 
And I wanted to make sure that I had one for this event as well. If you go to the URL on the screen, you can customize and print your ApacheCon badge in case you too collect conference badges. So that's going to going to look like this and uh, I need to find some card stock to print this on at some point. During the event there are a number of ways that you can connect with your uh, your fellow attendees. There is of course a chat on the Hopin platform itself. This chat is both there's a global chat and then there is a per room chat so you can talk with people that are in the same session that you're in and people across the entire event. We've also stood up a Slack instance. And there's, again, a URL on your screen there, which will again be mentioned in the chats after this is over if you don't have time to write it down. In that Slack instance, there's a general room called ApacheCon. There are also per track rooms. And many of our sponsors also have a room there if you want to have kind of a, a quieter chat with uh, one of the sponsors about their products and services. In addition to this, there is something called the hallway track. Now, if you've been to in-person events, you know that the conversations you have in the hallway outside the sessions are every bit as important as the sessions themselves. So we've created a hallway track, which you will see in the session listing. And please do join in there and have conversations with your other attendees. Another thing that we've done is made some polls. You'll see this at the top right of your screen. Uh, if you click on polls, we've asked a couple questions there to get some idea of who you are. Uh, last time I checked, I noticed that 89% of you, this was your first ApacheCon. And that's, that's really exciting to me because making this event accessible to a larger community is has been a a goal of mine for many, many years. So it's really thrilling to have you all here. Uh, I want to mention a few highlights that you'll that will be happening today. Please do visit our sponsor booths. Those will be open and available immediately following the keynotes. Please drop in, say thank you for their sponsorship, and also learn about their products and services. Uh, do follow us on social media for up-to-the-minute updates, and those will also be posted in the event chat. And one other thing that I really want to draw attention to today is the Bug Bash. One of our sponsors, Muse.dev, is running a Bug Bash, and here's what that means. Muse.dev is a code analysis application. So what they've done is connect to some of our GitHub repos, and run their tool and identified some bugs in the code. Yes, some Apache code does have bugs in it. And uh, what you can do as an attendee is go to the URL on the screen, s.apache.org slash bug bash, make a team, sign up to participate and fix some of these bugs. Uh, MuseDev will be giving us a little more information once you go to that URL about what sort of prizes you can win by participating in this event please drop by their booth and in the Bug Bash channel on Slack if you want to learn more about this. So with that out of the way, I, I want to uh, move on to our next bit of content. In just a few minutes, I will be bringing David Nally on stage. That will be in about five minutes. Uh, I'm gonna go backstage now and make sure that, that he's all set up for this. Uh, David Nally is the president of the Apache Software Foundation, and he will be giving his annual State of the Feather address, letting us know what's happened in the Apache Software Foundation over the past year and what's coming in the future in as much as we can see that. So I'll be right back with David. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you just have a wonderful day at ApacheCon. This is really one of the highlights of my year and I hope that it's just as good for you. I'll be back in just a moment. <laughs>